If you clicked on this video for the title, let's get right to the point. I don't want to waste your time. The three reasons why you should start a YouTube channel and if you have a YouTube channel, you should just keep showing up and keep posting is because this is an outlet for you to express your creativity, especially if you don't have it in your day-to-day -day life. This in the long run could hypothetically become lucrative in the future. There are tons of people who are, let's say, larger creators and they don't really post that much, but they still make revenue off of their YouTube content. And the third reason is this is a great way to express yourself and have personal development, character development. I know who I am, I know what I love, and having a YouTube channel only allowed me to refine myself when I lost myself for the last four years, which is actually the topic of today's video. So if you are a subscriber and watching, or if you're interested to learn more and want to know more about me, hello, howdy, hi, I'm Victoria Marlone and welcome back to my channel and today's video. Today is a major life update. I kind of want to catch up with you all chit chat. I did mention this and some of the content I've been putting out because I've been having tech issues and I'm like, I can't afford an $800 digital camera right now and the microphone and the terabytes and a new laptop and all the things. So we are making it work where it works. And I wanted to title this video why you should just keep showing up on youtube or why you should just start youtube if you're thinking about it is because the character development i've had over the last eight years with my channel has once again as i said in the intro brought me back to who i am what i like and what i want to do i know i'm an actor i know no matter what i do in this life i'm always going to go back to acting i recently was working on a set and i was talking to my friend and something that kind of stopped me in my tracks when we were chatting about my day once i had the time to like fill her in on it is she made the comment i have never seen you this happy since i've known you like you sound so happy so chipper you just you're a different person right now and i'm very glad you got to have that experience and you get to be who you are and i think that's very important because i've had little signs throughout my life leading up to this point where i'm like i don't care what i look like i don't care what i'm doing i'm going all in on this journey no matter what i'm not going back on it and it was going to a doctor's office with a brand new doctor and somehow our conversation leading to the doctor asking me oh did you move here for work are you an actor because i feel you have a very non-accented voice and it's a very moldable voice and i could see someone in the entertainment industry trying to maintain that so that it's easy for them to switch if needed we didn't say anything about my work up to that point it was just suggested by the doctor in the conversation i recently went on live for the first time on tiktok and there were a couple of comments on the live i was just doing a quick makeup actually to film the perfect summer day video and there was like i said a couple of comments and they all said things along the line of are you an actor or you look like you're an actor like do you act and it just feels like these little reminders are there because for four years I've had people kind of tell me like I should give up on my dreams or I'm doing too much or maybe what I'm doing isn't meant for me and I feel like that was all a test and for a long time I was failing but I'm not failing anymore. So I wanted to give that like first major update to say ever since I posted that first video where I was like I'm an actor. I may not have a top billing, I may not have a blockbuster movie, I may not have a article announcing like my newest position, but like I'm an actor, I've done acting before, I'm acting again, any sort of acting I do is acting, I am an actor. That's led to me getting a couple of auditions and doing self tapes and submitting like self done headshots and booking jobs and doing work. And it's only going to get better from here. I am going to be doing an actor diary. So we'll get more into that journey in those videos and even some tip videos I have for people because it truly is who you know, even if you're just starting out like myself and starting over like myself. Because as I've said, I've done acting work before, but I'm finally taking it seriously as a profession. And ultimately, that is like the number one life update. But I want to go back in time. We're approaching August and I want to start our quick life update with June. 
let's roll some of the footage. I'm gonna just show you all what my trip to Tennessee was like. I didn't really get any footage on set and obviously like when you work on movies and television shows, you sign contracts and some of those talk about how you're like not gonna talk about the things that you're working on. Some directors even say like no phones on set, but I will share some photos of some of the stuff I've been doing and we'll chat once we get back. I'm so proud of myself because everything is in this one suitcase. I do still need to put my socks on. I'm taking a cardigan with me. I was gonna bring two jackets, but then that felt silly because why add an extra, you know, like heavy item to take up space when I could just bring a cardigan, I'll just wear the maxi dress as is because it's hot. And if I need the cardigan, I have it on the plane, off the plane. That I have this little tote clutch. Why did I call it a tote? Clutch from Coach. That's what I was thinking. <laughs> and in here, I just have my ID, headphones, all the things you would need like directly on your flight because typically I'd probably just put it in the front pocket of my other carry-on but because I'm not bringing that one I was like worried with this airline even though it says in the email I can have a personal item and a carry-on I just I've never flown with them before they're smaller so I just thought okay let me bring my smallest carry-on for the overhead bin this can literally be held in my hand and it'll be able for me to just keep it on my wrist, keep it on me. As you all saw, this is the look. We're about to head to the airport. It's seven o'clock. I told myself I need to leave no later than 7.30, but I think I packed everything. I've laid out everything else because I'll be getting back late Sunday. So I just want to come home, put up everything from unpacking and then get ready for bed, go to bed. So I think I'm good. You know, ACs are off. It's already getting warm. I got ready, I did my filming. I am gonna post that before I go. It's like literally 7.04, I should be okay. But I'm gonna check GPS. If it looks like I can still get to the airport no later than 8.50, I'm gonna just finish this last like bonus section of my book because I don't wanna have to worry. I already packed my new book and my work bag for next week. I almost forgot shades. Um, <laughs> I definitely didn't pack any and then I thought about it and I think last night I realized I got rid of all of my like non-designer shades and I they're all so big these are big too but we're just gonna make it work <laughs> We made it. Um, this rental car is very high tech and I don't know what to expect with that, but we are gonna try downtown Flavor Town. It looks like it's Guy Fieri's place. And hopefully, ah, by the time we're done, it'll be time to check into the hotel. I might have to ask Courtney um, for some mayo. You are a car tour. Do y'all see this? This is crazy. It's all touchscreen. It's a 2022. It's basically a brand new car. And it has so many fancy features that I've never seen before in a car, like ever, 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 ever. But first, let me lock the door and get to the room. It's a cute little room. There's pretty much like a little kitchenette bathroom. This looks like a little wardrobe. Dresser, TV, beds, <laughs> photos, a little table, and another wardrobe. There's also a <laughs> nightstand and lamps. Oh, the keys. We are off to our Friday night plans. <laughs> Not my brother over there looking like Mr. Hollywood, but we are gonna hit up some barbecue, ice cream, and the Great Smoky Mountain Wheel. Ah. I thought it was gonna do the sensor because the but okay so a quick look at our futuristic car when the car starts all of this becomes ac and touchscreen as you can see it doesn't have usb 
it only has USB-C and I had an intuition to bring a car port and I didn't. So I just brought a USB because most cars have USB, but no, this one is a 2022. So it has USB-C and then all of this up here is screen. So this is where your speedometer and that typical technology is. And then here is the touch screen with CarPlay. I'm assuming like Bluetooth, sync, all those things that most cars have. We've just been using CarPlay and something I notice is unlike other cars, this CarPlay does not need you to plug in a cord and there's nowhere to plug in a cord. So maybe that's why. And then the typical you've arrived at your destination <laughs> steering wheel info and then everything for the other parts of the car, like your gas, your parking, your trunk. This is for traction and regular window and mirror controls but we are at the barbecue i'm excited to try it so we're gonna head in and the only other thing i noticed about this car that's really interesting is it notices when other cars are around so it'll warn you if you're backing up if you're driving forward it also will tell you if the car in front of you decides to like go and you're not moving yet it'll beep and say hey the car in front of you's moved if anyone in the car does not have a seatbelt on it goes off it also will detect at the bottom things like the speed limit and street signs so when you're in certain areas it'll actually like control on the steering wheel which is fascinating but all right let's get some barbecue Goodbye, Sonata Transformer. Hello, going home. Going to Dollywood was like the ultimate year on the right path. As I've said, I've had these little things here and there. Recently, I've been compared to this actor. She's like 21. And it was ironic because I was just asking some people I know, like, how old do you think I could pretend to be up to a point and a lot of them were like eh. the average age was 21 and this actress I've been getting a lot of comments saying like you look like this girl and some people have been saying her character name so I had to google it and I was like it's the same girl <laughs> she is 21 so I'm like okay I must really look like a 21 year old I can probably for the most part get away with being a high schooler or get away with being a college age student with work right now in terms of my play age and Dollywood just was like the ultimate trip for me because I love Dolly Parton. I actually used her as an answer for last time I competed in pageants at the local and state level. I had questions. The first one was, who is your like role model? And I talked about Dolly. And then I got a question about your like style icon. I talked about Dolly. And going to Dollywood, hearing like from her own mouth, you know, if a girl like me from the Smoky Mountains can do it, anyone can do it really resonated with me and allowed me to reassess you know i may not want to go into three four five hundred dollar debt not dollar thousand dollar so like three hundred thousand dollar debt anymore for school but that does not mean i can't make it as a performer it also doesn't mean I can't use the resources I currently have to be better. I'm teaching myself things. I'm looking for studios that are affordable that I can still do while working and making money. And we'll talk about that more in a video I have planned to just talk about like starting over or starting like fresh as an actor. And I'm in a great position. I don't have children. I'm not in a relationship, nor do I want to be bothered with one. So I don't have to worry about that aspect. I have my own transportation. I have my own shelter. I'm like protected. I'm blessed. I'm like the first woman really doing the things that I'm doing in this lifetime for my bloodline. And today I was actually thinking about how I wish every single woman that came before me could have the opportunities I currently have. But because I have these opportunities and because I exist in the reflection of who they were and everything they did, 
I only want to go harder. I don't want to just settle for what I have. I want to go after what I want. And I'm always being reminded that I can do it. I'm capable of it. And it's going to happen in time. So Dollywood just really inspired me. Tennessee was beautiful. I loved the trip. Immediately came back and was going to my regular job. I was going to acting jobs. And fast forward to now July. I'll add some clips of stuff that's happened in July. <laughs> The ultimate reflection I've had this month is everything I want is going to be hard. That's been a common theme over the last four years, but I was just battling so many things and I wasn't really lonely, but I was feeling alone. It really just felt like, okay, no one cares about my dreams and like, what am I going to do? Whereas the current me is just like, no one cares about my dreams. I care about my dreams. I can only save myself the only person who can grow the YouTube channel. I'm the only person who can make money through the businesses and the side hustles and the nine to five and the training to become an actor. I'm the only one who can do all these things. So suck it up, pull on your willpower because maybe you've been doing things that aren't helpful, but you thought they were because they were your crutches and they were comfortable, but you have to let them go. And so July has just been a really big lesson of it's gonna suck it's gonna be hard it's not gonna be fun but you know what you want in your life so you have to make those sacrifices and you have to put in the work to do the things that you want to do august is interesting because i'm not being so hard on myself i will be doing a july recap for important love bless i will be working on like a podcast episode as i always do but it'll be slightly different we'll get more into the topics of like how july went and how august is going to go it'll be a recap reset replan with me type of shindig but what's really significant for going into august is just really refocusing on like the small portions of those habits and those goals 
and that looks like okay i'm gonna do this a day like a little challenge a journaling challenge a photography challenge because that's a hobby that i want to get better at it looks like you know if i'm having a bad week still going to the gym and putting in a mile a day bare bones or if i don't go to the gym go to the 60 minute yoga class and get your workout in for the day it looks like reassessing the budget and how are we going to start saving throughout the rest of this year so we can really do the things we want to do next year and we can build a nest egg versus running out of money all at once trying to do everything all at once it's reflecting on everything i've discovered in july as like this is it next year this time we are doing this no matter what august is okay we'll take that first step we're not climbing the mountain in a day. The mountain is, let's say, this time next year. We are at the very beginning of the trail. What is the very bare bones things you could be doing? How can I add to my book that I'm working on? How could I add to my pageant journey, even though everyone's just like, why would you do pageants? What does it look like to really lose the weight and like learn the habits and skills and unlearn all the bad coping behaviors that I've taught myself that aren't normal, but my body thinks are normal that I'm going to have to suffer through to unlearn? until it doesn't feel like you're starving and you're sore and all the things are wrong with you. It just looks like starting over and it's never too late to start over. And that's why I titled this video what I titled this video because the average person in my position would have gave up by now. Oh, content hasn't blown up. I've been trying to make content since 2016. I started my YouTube channel in 2018. I show up, people tell me all the time I make great content, nothing goes viral, no one follows me. I mean, right now on my TikTok, I get on average 600 profile views a day. I don't get followers. <laughs> people watch my stuff, but they don't follow me. If I were to give up with pageants, my track record would be first year of competing, second runner up every single competition. The very next year, second runner up every competition I did until I did an appointed title. And if I just gave up from there, I'd be a consistent second runner up. But I don't want to settle for that. I want to be the person 14 year old me saw on the TV and wanted to be. I want to be the person in the movies. I want to be the person who is up there taking the award and saying, you know, if I can do this all on my own, building this life brick by brick, you can do it too. Trust and believe. And I'm going to be talking about that in a separate video about like just releasing your traumas and really just making life what it is. When I say I have so much good content coming out and I don't care if it's just me, the back of this iPhone camera and my falling apart MacBook until the wheels run off. Like I have so much good stuff that I want to share with you all, but I just wanted to give this life update to say August is that first step for me. I'm still going to be showing up on all my platforms in some way, some capacity. I don't think I'm doing too much. I have a way better recycle reduce <laughs> reuse system of we make one piece of content it works for all the platforms we work on this hobby we save for the other one we are going after what we want i feel like september this next chapter of my dream life diaries which is really what this is kicking off is going to be like a traditional vlog we're going to be doing some cool stuff in september so i'll probably be getting more vlog footage and i won't be doing as much narrating as i am in this video this was just a reminder to anyone out there who's feeling discouraged it's gonna take a long time for some of us especially if there's some stuff you have to work on but that does not mean you are denied that just means your results are slightly delayed but they're going to be here they are going to get delivered trust and believe and with that i want to just lead us into the outro to say again if you we're new here and you watch to this point and you either want to see this journey or you want more content about how you are going to enter your new season and becoming your best self how you're going to let go of things or even take your weaknesses and turn them into your power how you're going to if you're like me and an actor and you want to start acting and you're like i don't know what to do i don't know what's going on everyone's saying things they don't understand i got you i'm gonna have all types of stuff coming up on the channel regarding weight loss, beauty, lifestyle, me, how I navigate life because I think I'm a pretty cool person and I've got a great way of looking at things at this point. And I would say the amount of strangers who have stopped me this week and talked with me and have felt like a test of what I've learned and what I can share my knowledge with has been 
a whole nother story for a whole nother time. But I do want to say thank you for watching to this point. And if you are going to want to stick around for the rest of everything I have to offer, don't forget to click subscribe and also give this video a thumbs up. So that way the algorithm knows that people watching do enjoy this video. If you are subscribed or you just subscribed, don't forget to click the bell. I've been posting all types of content on YouTube and my other platforms that will be down below in the description box if that fits your fancy and you like following people across platforms. Don't hesitate to share with a friend who may need to hear this right now, especially if you have a friend that's like feeling low about where they're at in life. Like it's not just you. I don't post the highlight reels. I post the full picture forever, always, without a doubt. I've always been transparent and you know, I could one day, like I said, be that star and I'm still going to show up with this iPhone camera and say, listen, y'all, everybody has those days. Everybody gets that way. Everybody knows what I'm talking about. <laughs> and again, thank you, thank you, thank you for sticking around and listening to the life update as well as the first video of the dream life diaries. I will see you in the next one. You are important, you are loved, and you are blessed. Until then, be safe and take care.